Hey guys, it's Billy. Before we get to this week's Quiz in the Face segment, I want to let you know something the contestants don't know. This week, the secret word of the day is Beyonce. So if at any time during a multiple choice game somebody says Beyonce, the game is over and I have to run away. Let's go. Miss, Miss, want to play the new Funny or Die game? Show you can win real money right now. It's real fast. What's your name? Sure, Tiffany. Tiffany, what do you do in New York? I work at the High Line teaching kids. Oh, wow, the High Line. That's, a, that's that ab above ground walkway where people can walk around, has plants and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's over the city. Very nice view. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay, what do you teach kids? Uh, about plants and about design. I said plants! No, design uh, and history too. Okay, that's great. Here we go, here's how it works. If you get two questions wrong, you're out. If you need help answering a question, you can beg a stranger, you can ask an Asian, or you can call a woman. Are you ready to play? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, here we go, what's your name again? Tiffany. Tiffany, okay, here we go. Round one, question one. When she was a member of Destiny's Child, Beyonce was, oh my God, Beyonce, secret word of the day, let's go, let's go. Hey guys, it's Billy Eichner, and this is Funny or Die's Billy on the Street, a new music and pop culture trivia game show. Now, before we get to the big three round games, let's hit the streets and see what New Yorkers have to say. Here we go. Sir, sir, do you think Rihanna looks like a baby giraffe? No. Oh, okay, thank you. Sir, any thoughts on Jennifer Aniston? Jennifer Aniston? I think she's a nice lady, but she should stay single. She oh, has... she doesn't have luck with men? No, nah, she has bad choices. She makes bad choices. She was dating Justin Thoreau. And, and, you know, and then everything after that went downhill. Well, everything. no, that was Brad Pitt. Well, Brad Pitt. But John Mayer. All she of them. dates all of them. All of them, and everything she do, you know, some people are good people, they just make bad choices. Exactly. You know, good people. She can't crawl her way out of a paper bag. She can't even get in the paper bag to crawl out of the paper bag. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Sir, sir, on a scale yeah, of I... 1 to 10, 10 being very, very boring, how boring is Reese Witherspoon? Um, very, very boring. No, I don't nice. understand the scale. <laughs> you don't understand the scale? Uh, it's very complicated. It's a scale yeah. of 1 to 10. 1 to 10. Yes. And 10 means very boring. Yes. And how boring is Reese Witherspoon? You want me to give you a 10? <sighs> Miss, for a dollar, who is your favorite black person? Well, I don't know. Oh, think about it. What is this for? This is for Billy on the Street. I'm Billy. I'm Billy on the Street. Hi. Who are you? Lori. Oh, hi, Lori. Lori on the Street. Not quite, but OK. <laughs> Who's your favorite black person for a dollar? Oh, God. Don't say Oprah, I'll kill you. Don't say that. Thank God. <laughs> mm. Oh, that tongue. <laughs> Who would that be? Who would it be? Five seconds. Five, four, three, oh, two, no. one. Black person, go. Well, of course, Denzel Washington comes to mind first. Yes, there you go. Oh, he's not your favorite? I like him a lot. Well, that's well, fine. Think about it, you know? Well, you thought and you said Denzel. <laughs> OK. OK, goodbye. What was that? I was just about to tell her to say Denzel. Oh, really? Yeah, for real. Yeah, that's your favorite black person other than you? Oh, one of them. Yeah. One of them. For a dollar. Uh-huh. Name three white women you would f Uh, let me see. Um, uh, I would have to say... Three white women you would f Donna. Correct. Uh, let's go another one. Uh, yep. Michelle Pfeiffer was one. Uh, let me Two. See who else. Uh, Good choice. Let me see who else. David E. Kelly will be very proud of you. Let me see who else. Let me see who else now. Uh, one more. Pink. Oh, pink. Wow. Good choices. <laughs> so you would have sex with Madonna, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Pink. Right. That sounds like a really great time. You deserve this. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. For another dollar. Wow. Name three white men you would. F Oh my God! Let's go! Come on! I got some. Okay. Um, <laughs> three, my, three white men you would. F Ashton Kutcher. One. <laughs> um, Richard Gere. Okay, that's two. And one more. Leonardo DiCaprio. There you go. One dollar. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. This is great. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. No, stay. For a dollar. Why should I stay? For another dollar. Yes, for a dollar. Okay. Are there any women you would have sex with still? Yes, definitely. Who? Are you bisexual? Yes. Oh, no one's bisexual. Well, you know how that goes. Yeah, you're just any, saying anything that. Anything with a whole less wet. Oh, my God! <laughs> hey, guys, it's Billy, and this is Cash Face. 
Hey guys, it's Billy out here to play another round of America's favorite game, Cash Face. What is your name, sir? Bob. And what is your name, miss? Dawn. And where are you from, Bob? Jersey. And where are you from, Dawn? Jersey. And do you guys know each other? Boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, wow, you, you're dating? Yes. Uh, how long are you dating? Two years. Oh, wow, not gonna marry? No. Uh, okay, great, how do you feel about that, Dawn? Fine with it. <laughs> okay, great. You're gonna have kids or? No. Nope. Okay, perfect, very nice. Okay, here's how Cash Face works. I'm gonna give you 10 multiple choice questions. Buzz in when you know the answer, but please don't buzz in until I finish giving you the answer options. Some of the questions are subjective, so for you to get it right, your answer has to match my answer, my opinion. If you get the question wrong, the other person gets the point. The person who gets the most right out of 10 wins the big prize. You ready, Bob? Ready. You ready, Don? Yes, I am. What do you do for work? Uh, work for a cleaning service. Oh, wow, how about you? Restaurant manager. Okay, great, here we go. Here we go, you ready for cash face? Yes. Okay, it's cash face, and away we go. Which show is more depressing, Intervention or America's Got Talent? America's Got Talent. What? You have to buzz! Bob gets the point, America's Got Talent. Who owns more guns, Lil Wayne or Martin Short? Martin Short. What, you are not buzzing! Bob gets the second point. Remember that time Justin Timberlake showed us Janet Jackson's nipple, yes or no? Yes. No. Yes, no, Bob gets another point. What a moron. Which caused more harm, the war in Afghanistan or seeing Janet Jackson's nipple? John, you answer without buzzing, so did you. Did now your buzzer fell? Jesus Christ. Oh, God, no one gets the point. Next question, who's funnier, Howard Stern or Jerry Seinfeld? Don. Seinfeld. No, Howard Stern, Bob gets the point. Which is a better movie, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle or Melancholia? Bob. No, Harold. <laughs> No, Bob. Bob, do you love Lars von Trier? Yeah, okay, no. Dawn gets the point. Who has more gay friends, Adele or RuPaul? Oh, Dawn. RuPaul. No, Adele, Bob gets the point. Which would you rather watch, Queen Latifah or The Lion King? Lion Bob. King. Okay. Yes, correct, Lion King. Bob gets the point. Who takes more naps, Neil Diamond or Kelly Clarkson? But Dawn. Kelly. Yes, correct. Dawn gets the point. Final question. Which will put you to sleep faster, Nora Jones or Dr. Conrad Murray? Dawn. Murray. No, Nora Jones, Bob gets the point. Who wins? Bob, Bob wins yeah. cash face, yes! Congrats, Bob. Thank you. Okay, and let's see his prize. Oh my God, it's potatoes! Yes! Congrats, Bob. Thank you. Well, Bob got the potatoes, you didn't. Aww. Okay, well, have fun back in Jersey, and congrats, thanks for playing cash face. We'll be right back. Miss. Miss, want to play the new Funny or Die game show? You can win real money right now. It's real fast. What's your name? Rafi. What is it? Rafi. Rafi? Mm -hmm. Oh, like the children's musician. <laughs> yeah. OK. Are, yes. Not, not spelled the same way, but yes. <laughs> OK, here's how it works. If you get two questions wrong, you're out. Okay. If you need help answering your question, you can beg a stranger, ask an Asian, or have me act out the answer in charades. You ready to play, Rafi? Like, ask an Asian? Yes. They know things. Oh, okay. Let's All go, right. let's go. Okay, okay. Round one, question okay. one, Rafi. In the 1996 song, Sonny Came Home, Sonny comes home with what? A, the hiccups, B, a vengeance, C, an explanation for her terrible first name, D, a gift certificate. I'm gonna say B, a vengeance. Are you sure? No, but I'm gonna say it anyway. You're correct, Rafi! <laughs> yes, on to question two. Okay. Don't laugh, it gets much more serious. It takes a turn for the there worst in the second round. Down, I'm so Put serious. your goddamn oh, bag down. Go, 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 go. You got go. big boobs, woman. I do, I do. Okay. I'll fire my charm. Okay, great, here we go. Question two. Speaking of big boobs, Aretha Franklin is known as the queen of hip hop, soul, England, or oral? I'd say soul, but I don't know her intimately, so I suppose she could still be the queen of oral, but I'm gonna say soul. I'm gonna go with B, soul. Final answer. Yes, you are correct, <laughs> Rafi, and it starts to pour on our heads here in New York City. Question three, here we go. Hip hop star Drake's real first name is A, Aubrey, B, Gwyneth, C, Sunyi, D, Danity Kane. I'm gonna ask an Asian. We have to ask an Asian. Ready, let's go, let's go. Gotta ask an Asian. I can't ask one of your Asian No, no, you. no, you can't ask my crew. We need an Asian. We need an Asian. Sir, sir, she needs help. Oh my God. We need an Asian. We need an Asian. We need to find an Asian in the rain. Someone go take Rafi's bag. Let's go. We need an Asian. Miss, 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 Rafi needs help answering a question. She needs an Asian, but you're close enough. What's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine? Okay, here we go. Hip hop star Drake's real first name is A, Aubrey, B, Gwyneth, C, Soon Yi, D, Danity Kane. I don't even know. What's Drake's real name? 
Who are you talking to, Rihanna? Maybe, maybe an agent. What? Help, help, help. What strange your name? What's Just calm name? down. Casey, are you listening to me? Casey, listen up! What is Drake's real name? Drake's real name. Aubrey, Gwyneth, Soon Yi, or Danity Kane? What is Drake's real name? What is Jesus? Is she deaf? <laughs> Marley Matlin on the line. Is Drake a male? What? Is Drake a man? Drake is a man. So what are the other options? Aubrey, Aubrey Gwyneth, Soon Yi, Danity Kane. What? Aubrey. Aubrey, Jasmine says Aubrey. Do you accept the answer? Are you sure, Jasmine? I don't know. That's is that a guess? Answer. All right, I'm just gonna go with that because I have no idea. I don't know who Drake is, so Aubrey. I know who Drake is, but I don't know the real name. Aubrey? Okay, we're gonna go with Aubrey. It's Aubrey. Aubrey. Aubrey Graham. Aubrey, fine. Go, go, go. Aubrey Aubrey. 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 Shut up! It's Aubrey! Yes, you're still in the game! Thanks, Jasmine. Goodbye. Let's keep playing. Jasmine, go along your way. Cut. Rafi, you're still in the game. No, your bag, they have your bag. Let's go, Rafi. Look at me. Here we go. Okay, you barely made it into round two, and yet here we are. Here we go. In the rain, round two, question one. One of the real housewives of Beverly Hills, Kim Richards, was a child star. Which Disney movie did she star in? A, Escape to Witch Mountain, B, Bedknobs and Broomsticks, C, Shinbone Alley, D, The Biscuit Eater. B? B, Bedknobs and Broomsticks? I have no idea. Is that your answer? That's my answer. No, wrong! It's Escape to Witch Mountain, but Rafi. Was, Escape to Witch Mountain was when I was a kid. No, 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 it's Escape to Witch Mountain. All right, how many wrong am I allowed to get? Two. All right, all right, it's all right. I'm in this to win it. Question two. When he was 10 years old, the always wet looking Mario Lopez had his first kiss with which pop star? A, Fergie, B, Britney, C, Madonna, D, Screech. Okay, fine. What do you want? I, I want to ask somebody for help. I need help. Fine, Obviously, fine, let's help. go. Fine, we need a stranger. Oh, Miss, you need help answering a question. Please, here we go. Here we go. This is for money. Ready? Round two, question two. When he was 10 years old, the always wet-looking Mario Lopez had his first kiss with which pop star? A, Fergie. Will you please be quiet? A, Fergie. B, Britney. C, Madonna. D, Screech. Fergie. Are you sure? Wait, wait, who is Mario Lopez? <laughs> Can we consult? Who's Mario Lopez? Mario Lopez is a host on Extra. And he was on Saved by the Bell, you idiot. What you think? What is your answer? Well, he wasn't Saved by the Bell. What do you think? First kiss with no Screech. What? That's a little bit no. What, what? I go with Fergie. You she says Fergie. Fergie. Do you okay, accept the answer? <laughs> I'm going to accept it because you know who it is and I don't. So go ahead. Go Guess ahead. what? What? You're still in the game, <laughs> Rocky! <Rafael! laughs> OK, move along. Here we go. Come on. All right, all right. All right. Question three. Here we go. If you get this right, you can move into the final round and win hundred dollars. If you get it wrong, oh, you're out. Oh, hundred dollars, dude, in the rain. Excuse okay, me. Good, 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 good. Good. I got it. Go. Here we go. Round two, okay. question three. The cover of Lil Wayne's latest album, The Carter Four, shows what? A. That even black people cross the street when they see Lil Wayne. B. An old class picture of Lil Wayne with tattoos. C. Lil Wayne riding on an alien. D. Lil Wayne wearing Gucci pants but still looking like an insane homeless person. I'm gonna go with the charades option. Charades? Okay, yeah. we're doing charades. <laughs> Put 60 seconds on the clock, please. I will act out the correct answer in charades. And go. Tattoos, the one with tattoos. What? The tattoo one, whatever it was. An old class even... picture of Lil Wayne with tattoos? Yes. yes, you're correct, you're in round three, Rafi. Oh my God. Yes, here we go, that's 50 <laughs> right. bucks, so you're in round three. Oh, okay. Here we go, okay. here's a subjective round, round three, okay. ready? Okay. This is very romantic, you yeah, and I, in the I, rain. I know, in the this rain. is like the notebook. I feel like, no. Turn around. Notebook? What's with you in this horrible pop culture reference? What, what are you talking Disney? about, horrible? That's what a great movie. Cat? It's very romantic. You, you don't you like Ryan Gosling? Come on. Subjective you. round. Okay, third go. round. Here, Here we go. Here's how the third round works. Okay. You can double your money and win $100 if and only if your answer matches my answer, okay. my opinion. Do you understand, your Rafi? Opinion. I, I, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting a little sense of your opinion. I OK, right, so here right. we go. Right. Right. Annoying. <laughs> OK, here we go. Okay. Here's the question. What's the most embarrassing thing you get distracted by on the internet? A, pictures of celebrities wearing things. B, porn. C, Facebook status updates. D, porn, 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 all the time, porn. I don't think you're very, I don't think you're embarrassed by porn. So the other options were celebrity, bad style. Pictures of celebrities things. wearing things or Facebook status updates. I think you're embarrassed by celebrities wearing things. Are you sure, Rafi? No, I'm never sure. But that's what I'm gonna go with. I do not think you're the kind of guy to be embarrassed by porn. Rafi. Facebook status updates. I mean, it's a close, it's a close call. What is your final answer? I'm gonna say, I want to go with Facebook status updates. I'm gonna go. I'm, Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I actually think that that would embarrass you on behalf of other people. Yes, I'm gonna go with that. 
Rafi. I'm wet. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sorry, pal. I tried my best. And you're a winner! Facebook yeah, yeah, status yeah. updates! <laughs> I hate Facebook status updates! Why the hell do I care that you just landed in Atlanta? I don't know. I don't know, but there. Look, see? Rafi. It's simpatico, my friend. After all, Listen. In the rain. Look, I don't like you. I don't like you either, dude. But and there's spittle on your upper lip. I don't give a damn. You have crazy hair. It's raining. It's New York. That's no excuse. It's no excuse. I'm black. I have a fro. It's raining. I don't care. Keep Oprah. Okay. Oprah's black. She, put stuff, okay. Oprah, Oprah put stuff Oprah's in her hair. Oprah. Oprah put stuff in her hair to straighten her hair. Yes, that's okay. right. What kind of self hatred is that about? You want me to hate myself and straighten my hair? I know. I just want you to look more like Oprah. <gasps> Joy Behar uses the same stuff. <laughs> You're crazy. Goodbye. Hey, guys, it's Billy. You know, I have always believed that with the exception of Jessica Alba's career, everything happens for a reason. But now I'm not so sure. You know, I was in my laundry room the other night, and I heard that song, You're Beautiful, by James Blunt. And there are so many songs now telling people they're beautiful no matter what they do, no matter what they look like. But that's not true. That's not realistic. So I've decided to write my own version of You're Beautiful. But instead of calling it You're Beautiful, I'm calling it You Look Really Good For You. Take a listen. You look fat, but not today. You must have worn a jacket to cover up your weight. You look really good. You look really good. You look really good for you Whatever that jacket is You should wear it every day You look really good for you What did you do to your face? Looks much better Still not great you look really good You look really good You look really good for you For a woman with sideburns You look very cute You look really good for you Hey guys, I've got cash in hand and I'm ready to give it away if I can find anyone in this town who knows a damn thing. Let's go! Sir, sir, for a dollar, true or false, Surrey Cruz looks adore the explorer and thinks what a poorly dressed, uneducated twat. Uh, I don't know. True or false? It's false. Yes, you win! Congratulations! Miss, any thoughts on Brad Pitt? You think it's his year to win the Oscar? For... Moneyball. Oh, I didn't see it. Come on! Ladies, for a dollar, name a singer that you hate. Yeah, hey, Lady Gaga. Why Lady Gaga? She annoys me. Why does she annoy you? The music, it's like too much. I liked her before she was so hype. It's well, too much. Well, what are you gonna do? I if don't she's know supposed to do, go in the hole! Miss, for a dollar, who is your favorite actress? Who's my favorite? Uh, Meryl Streep. Of course it is. <laughs> Someone <laughs> did you know that? And everyone thinks that, except <laughs> some idiot down the block said Glenn Close. Well, I would believe that also. No, no she's Meryl not. Meryl Streep? Exactly. Meryl Streep. It always is. Of course it is. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Oh, oh, miss, any thoughts on Maim Bialik? You know, from, know. From, from Blossom. She was Blossom. Right, I know. And yes, and now she's that. the Big Bang Theory. Yes! Miss, any thoughts on Kaylee Cuoco? I have no idea for that. What? She's on the Big Bang Theory. I'm crossing the street. Miss, are you watching The Mentalist? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Simon Baker. Simon Baker. Miss, any thoughts on Maim Bialik? No. Oh. Miss Adele. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. For a dollar, name three white girls you would f um, Katy Perry. <laughs> um, Come on, I got I don't this. Know. Oh, it. Katy Perry <laughs> and <laughs> ah! what? Kim Kardashian. Camera yeah. lady. Yeah. Camera yeah. lady. You would f my camera lady. Yeah. All right, there you go. Congratulations. Yeah, oh, baby. I'll f the sh out of you. Hey, y'all about to see a fight if you don't give me that dollar. Okay, so thanks, guys. Watch this. Bye. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Thank you, boy. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Congratulations, my camera lady. They're gonna f the out of my camera lady tonight. 
Miss for a dollar, true or false? Bruce Willis used to play the harmonica in public all the time. Uh, true. Yes, correct. Here you go. You win. Take it. Congratulations. Why he would he would in, he would play the harmonica at, at events? Bruce Willis. What was he doing? Actors should just shut up and not play an instrument. Unless you're Meryl Streep, then you can play an oboe or a mandolin. I don't care. I'll pay to see it. Bruce Willis dated Brooke Burke. What does she do? Billy on the street.